Hey tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up the standard general practitioner or just simply known as the GP. This is a staple pattern for the West Coast steelhead and salmon as well as the sea run cutthroat that head up that side of the coast. This was designed as a prawn imitation by the English angler Colonel Desmond Drury back in the 1950s in pursuit of Atlantic salmon. It's since migrated to the west coast and has found many different ways to be tied up. This is one that I prefer. It's a bit of a simplified version. It uses two sections of uh, dubbing. Uh, you can find this in variations with three. You can add a collar. You can use polar bear for the tail or the feelers, whatever you want. You can tie this in different colors such as orange, purple, black. I've even seen a few olives. So let's have a look at the materials and get started. Let's get a fresh hook in the vise. Now I'm using a salmon steelhead number two superfly hook here. And before we start in on the tying portion, I'm just going to get one thing prepared. So um, I've got a golden pheasant head here. That's got the crest and the tippets. What I do to prepare the eyes for this fly is just take one of these tippets and I'm going to take off most of the fibers surrounding the feather. And then I'm going to come up here about 10, 15 fibers in. I'm just going to leave a uh, cut in a space there. Just even that up a bit. So now I'm going to take a little bit of head cement and I'm just going to give that a quick coat. On both sides. And I'm just going to set that aside on a surface that I can peel it off of or just I'll hang it somewhere like in one of my uh, fly keeper springs, something like that. All right, so I'm just going to set that aside for now. And I usually, when I'm Tying these flies, I'll do up a few ahead of time. This is one that I've done a few minutes up ahead of time. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a 6 aught fire orange thread. And we'll just put a loose base of thread on there. And just to the hook point is good. So for the first material, we're going to use a an orange bucktail. Uh, you can use other materials like fox hair, orange fox, or even polar bear if you have it. Polar bear is actually really, really nice for this pattern if you got it. All right, so cut a clump off there. I'm going to tie that in. Just a little bit longer than the uh, hook shank, I guess, there. And we'll start that in near the head. I'm going to try and keep all those hairs on top of the body. Trim the tags. I'm going to add a couple pieces of pearl crystal flash, just to add a little bit of highlight to that tail. Two pieces is probably what I normally use. 
and we'll just match those to the length of the tail or the uh, feelers I guess some people describe them as and let's just pull those up on the other side here so we've got them on both sides trim those up now this is uh, an optional step but I tend to have quite a bit of this material lying around which is Rhea I use it for some of my other steelhead flies this stuff isn't quite long enough for some of the flies I tie so rather than just getting rid of it I uh, keep it on hand so I'm going to take a few fibers from the orange uh, maybe like five or six and I'm just going to tie those on top a little bit longer than the bucktail and then I'm going to do the same with the black I'll take about the same and we'll just tie those on top I just like having the, a bit of black mixed in with this just to get away from the monotone orange that you often see trim off those butt ends alright so now we're going to add a little bit of uh, let's see I guess we need to add a ribbing first before we get into anything so I've just got some oval tinsel and I like to use gold kind of goes with the body the orange body so I'll just tie that along the side here just to the base of the tail and then I'm going to take some orange dubbing can use um, Antron dubbing uh, or something else like uh, semi sealed. This is actually seal dubbing that we're using here. But I know this is tricky for lots of people to get, especially in the United States. Uh, if you're in Canada or the UK, it's uh, not difficult to get. Alright, so just dub on a little bit the seal then we'll wrap I want to get to about the halfway point thicken that up a touch more good now we're going to tie in our first hackle so I typically use two different hackles and I also like to use either like a badger dyed orange or these uh, black laced and I'll use a shorter smaller hackle on the rear section and then a larger hackle on the front section just so that when we tie this in we get a the longer fibers at the front going to the shortest ones at the back creates a nice natural looking taper right so we're just going to strip off fibers at the bottom of this feather and we're going to tie that in shiny side out put a few wraps fold that tag end of the feather then we'll trim it off and then we'll just start wrapping here just going to do open loops backwards until we get to the tie-in point of the tinsel here and then we're just going to weave that just wiggle it through the hackle in the opposite direction that we wound the hackle on so that's gonna keep that pin down there 
add a couple wraps just to secure that forward and then just pull it back and we'll just leave it there and it's ready for our next wrap go in there trim out that hackle all right so you want to with your thumb and your forefinger just kind of pull these hackle fibers back and pull them down just kind of making room for the eyes to go on top so you'll want those this is the one that we pre prepare, prepared earlier I usually just kind of wrap that around the uh, hook shank as long as it's in place you might have to maneuver it a little bit looks pretty good trim off the stem and we're going to wind on some more dubbing here again this is seal uh, another dubbing you can use if you like uh, just a bit flashier would be some diamond dubbing or some orange ice dub or even some of the senu laser dub would work fine on this but I like the seal it just gives a nice coarseness to the pattern All right, finish winding that on. Now we're going to take our second hackle. I'm going to prepare that again just by pulling off some of the base fibers. And we'll tie that in again, shiny side out. Fold that stem in to lock it in place. And we're going to start wrapping that. You can see the fibers on that are longer than the ones in the front or in the middle there. So it gives a nice taper. And we'll come back to where our ribbing was secured. And again, we'll just wind through here a few wraps secure that in place tie down the ribbing and then fold it back to lock it trim it and then I'll come back here and we'll trim that out So again, we'll just kind of push these fibers down just to make a nice spot for our final carapace. All right, and for that, we're gonna use some of the red feathers off of a golden pheasant skin. So for these, these are, I guess, shoulder feathers. Um, you can also get uh, rump feathers that are, have this nice red shade. So I'm going to take at least two feathers and I'll just trim those down a little bit. You can put that through the eye of the hook. Just to secure it. And you want to make sure those are flat on top. So if they're not, make sure you just adjust those before you put on your final wraps of thread. And I'll push those back out.
All right, cut our thread there, but luckily we didn't lose it, so we'll just wrap back over top of that. Make sure we got a good layer of thread. Trim up that piece that we cut. Just going to add a whip finish. And there you go. There's my version of the general practitioner. Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and watching my fly tying videos. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get notified on the latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that like button and post a comment below. If you'd like to support the content on the channel and get rewarded, you can visit my Patreon page. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a book in your vice. Cheers.